Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful little DM to DF reading. I do hope you're all well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know. So I'm going to be using the Divine Musk in Honesty and Realisations from beautiful Sandra from World Illuminator 1111. And then I'm going to use messages from your Divine Musk and True Self for my deck to see what it is that your Divine Musk would love to share and express. Right now, in this moment of this reading, of you listening and viewing this reading, Divine Feminines, and if you're interested, the weekly reading is now up. It went up earlier and it was absolutely wonderful, beautiful energy. So go and check that out if you would like to see what's going to be happening for the divine masculines and the divine feminines for next week so let's see what's coming through what is it that you need to know from your divine masculines that one flipped to the two flipped out true self yeah i'm going through my awakening and opening up to my true self they certainly are which goes with everything that's come through on that weekly re reading and fears my love for you is more than i can even begin to explain but my fears are still holding me back that is why, you know, at times your divine masculine is quiet and it feels as if this is taking forever is because they are facing their fears. And this love is so powerful. They can't put it into words how much they love you. And their greatest fear is losing you. Their greatest fear is rejection, abandonment, all of those things. And they're facing that head on. So at times this is highlighted and they feel this very strong and they, they, they don't want to lose you. So they push you away. They do it first. They're like, no, I'm, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this situation. It's bringing too many things up for me. So they, they get out first. Um, and all they're doing is reflecting back to you, Divine Feminines, of what's going on with you. As you know, this is a journey of self and... When you're having this relationship with yourself, giving unconditional love to yourself, moving forwards and making decisions in your life from your true self, your divine muscle will reflect that back to you because you're one. But they do have these fears because the love is so strong and they feel this magnetic pull towards you and no one understands them, but they're connecting with their true self and connecting with higher power, which is helping them manage this fear. And it, it does hold them back, the same as it does for you at times, where there's certain things that you won't move forwards, you know, towards because you're frightened. So let's see. Well, there's too many. There's, I'm going to take the ones that actually fell onto the canvas and then I'm going to go on to Demi Muskin's true self. Tired. My life is mundane and meaningless without you in it and I'm tired of living like this. I'm going to do whatever it takes to ensure... I have you back in my life. So they're so, they are so determined to overcome these fears, to stay in, the, to, to be true to themselves. But it is tiring, as you know, and it's, it's, it's so exhausting. You've just about had enough at times. There you go. Because the ego, trying to have that balance with ego, higher self, and at times ego comes in very strong because. It's getting very hungry because you're not feeding it the way you used to feed it. So um, at times it's very, very intense and we do have to take extra care of ourselves. So your divine mask is saying many times I get so lost in my thoughts and fears and I get stuck in my old ways because of my ego. I'm really trying to free myself from this prison of fear that my ego puts puts me in. So, yeah, they are overcoming this fear of losing you rejection or not thinking that they're good enough or capable to actually have this relationship they're pushing through they are being true to themselves and they're so aware that it's the ego they're so aware that it's fear that's holding them back and they don't want this anymore so particularly today or in this moment right now the divine masculines are feeling, you know, really being pushed 
to create this balance and to quieten that chatter that does override at times where it's just too much. So let's see what else comes through with my deck. Messages from your divine my sense true self. And because of what I said, the weekly reading, this week is beautiful energy that we're coming into. And we've got that full moon in Leo as well. And we're coming into the month of February. If you haven't checked the February reading out, it is now up if you're interested. And there will be a full moon in Leo as well. And so much happens in these powerful weeks of moon coming into new months and the full moon. And so they're really facing things full on, the Divine Masculines. And they're doing, they've got this. And it comes through strong in that weekly reading i'm putting a plan together yeah i'm putting a plan together i'm putting a plan together but at times the ego is coming in and saying what about this what about that and i do get distracted let's see <laughs> i'm breaking free from what no longer serves me yeah i'm breaking free from what no longer serves i'm listening to the ego i'm not allowing the ego to rule me i'm making friends with the ego having this balance with my true self my higher self and my ego I'm breaking free. I'm putting the plan together, but it is frightening because it is all new. I'm making these plans from my true self and my ego doesn't like it. I'm gathering my words together so I can communicate to you from my true self. Yeah, they want to communicate to you. They want to come towards you and speak their truth from the place of unconditional love, from their heart space, no mask. They want to tell you that they're putting a plan together. They want to tell you they've been overcoming their fears and breaking free from what no longer serves them. And that can be so many things on your journey. So again, put it into your situation. But they want to completely talk to you from a different space, different energy now of what has happened previously between you. I'm managing my ego so much better now. How on point is this reading? You can't make it up. Pay attention to music. I'm communicating to you through lyrics of songs so pay attention to music and music is big for everybody on this spiritual journey and you know the times when you're somewhere and a song comes on it could be a new song and it's just like touching your soul and you just know you just know it's your divine masculine communicating to you you know it's your divine counterpart communicating to you but the ego wants to come and say now nah, i've got it wrong whatever but your divine muskins confirming with you reassuring you that the music the songs the lyrics that you're drawn to it is them communicating to you and you may not have come across that song yet but be aware of these songs and it could be songs that you know that are meant you know there's that special song that you know is for you and your divine masculine so um beautiful 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 messages from your divine masculine and if you'd like any extra support on your twin flame journey or your spiritual journey, just email me. It's in the description box down below. And all the information is in the description box too about all the services that I do offer. And if you are if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you do understand me. And I'm sending you all so much love my support, my strength and light, and I love you all so very much. See ya! Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.